All right, so this morning I thought I would do the most boring segment that I've ever attempted here on Channel 13. How to properly hang something on the wall. I know the subject matter is not very exciting, but it's amazing still every time, like we have a restroom here at the store that we have all these family photos and old store photos and everything's hung on just a little nail. So if you slam the door hard enough, one of them falls onto the floor. And there is, I mean, doing things, doing it right is not that hard. So just some of the basics. And sometimes there's so many products that they kind of like try to over engineer to make it easier when it's not that hard just doing it kind of the normal way. You know, obviously we, you know, the command hooks from 3M have been, you know, really popular. But I have found that if it's a hook that you're going to reuse, let's say uh, you're going to hang, uh, you know, keys on it. You're going to take the keys on and off. They don't last very long. So I, I, we use them, but I'm not, not a, not a great fan of them. I mean, for certain situations, uh, these aren't bad. These are just like regular. This is the one that have been around forever. It's a uh, picture hanger. They come in different sizes. And now this will say 20 pound, you know, well, 20 pound, 20 pound. If the nails in a stud, you know, I, I can't imagine hanging 20 pounds of anything on that little hook. So I always take take those uh, the poundage there uh, with a with a grain of salt. And then this is where they get into the the crazy. This one's called is it called ook or supposed to be hook? I don't know what it is, but it's got some sort of uh, driver in it and stuff. It seems a little complicated. It says 50 pounds. Those those are nice. I, I like that style. But really. Using the, the tried and true method of, of anchors is really the best, if, especially if you're hanging anything with, with a little bit of weight, like a mirror or something like this. This is called what is referred to as a Molly. I don't know who Molly is, but her anchor has been around forever. All right. So the mistake people make, they take them and drive them into the wall. And when you drive them in the wall, see what happens? You shove out the back of the drywall. So now that Molly Molly would be very disappointed with you in the way you've done that, quite honestly. So using a drill, and so that, this is what happens. So you, you pull off the back. Now there's no support. So using it properly like that, you drill a quarter inch hole, you shove your Molly in there, and then you start cranking this thing down. If I was ready, I would have had, let's see how fast I can do this. So we, we, we get our drill ready here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Of course, I don't have my glasses on. This is not going well. All right, so see how it's spreading out? Just like that. And so that's behind the wall. It's very secure. Then you can take the screw back out of it, and now you can put a hook on it if you'd like. So this is, this is kind of one of my preferred ones that I love. Uh, plastic anchors are great. So for a nice medium size. And then some things, shelves and different things, really need to be in the stud. So if you don't have a stud finder and you don't know how to find a stud, no, I'm not gonna do the stud finder joke. So, but they're like 15 bucks or 10 bucks or something like that. And that will identify where that wood member is in, within, the, within the drywall. And then you can just use a regular screw. So my point, sometimes we go out of our way to make hanging things on the wall uh, more complicated than it needs to be. All right, so do it properly. It's easy to do. Look online, it'll give you the, the heights that you should use for your pictures so that grandma's not up towards the ceiling. So there you go. <laughs>